Hey everybody, it's Matt Shu from Upright Health. In another video, we talked about things that you can do uh, in case you get pinching in the front of your hip, especially with hip flexion. In this video, we're gonna talk about a couple other options that can be really helpful if that describes you as well. So this is an exercise that's pretty easy, requires no equipment, and it can be wildly effective if you do get pinching in the front of the hip. It's something that we've worked with um, with a number of clients over the last uh, half year, and like one, one client uh, over Skype in Colorado has absolutely loved this exercise because it just cleared up a lot of uh, his issues in the front of his hip. So uh, what we're gonna do is walk you through it and you are free to experiment with it. It is your body, it's at your own risk. It might help you immensely, it may do nothing for you. In a very rare instance, it might hurt you, but if you're paying attention, it won't. So what we're gonna do is basically start lying on our back and we're gonna pull the knee towards the chest. So if you're watching this video, this is probably a position that's not very comfortable for you. So what I want you to do is actually just go to where you can get it, where you first feel a little bit of resistance, where, you're, where your leg feels like it doesn't wanna go any further. So maybe it'll look like this. You have this angle here. And instead of just trying to jam it more and more into your chest and causing more pain, what I want you to do is actually push up that way so like if I take take away my hands it's like my knee is trying to go up that way so I'm gonna just keep my hands there though I'm gonna push up into my hands so as I'm doing this I'm actually feeling glutes a little bit of hamstrings firing up and creating that force then I relax and when I relax I can pull in a little bit and then again fire up Hold that contraction for a count of three to five and then relax and then see if I can go a little bit further. Okay, and then fire up. Relax and go a little bit further. So we're just trying to train some of the uh, hip extensors to work properly to kind of stabilize and uh, stabilize the hip joint as we go into deeper and deeper hip flexion. So I'm firing, 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 and then I relax and I get a little bit further. Okay. So basically what we want to do is keep um, repeating this process and getting as far as we can comfortably get um, by using these contractions. Now, when you get to a point where it no longer seems to be doing much, what you can do is start uh, utilizing contractions on the other side. So for some people, this is gonna sound like crazy talk. Why would you activate the muscles on the side where you're getting the pinching? The answer is, well, the pinching is not necess that pinching sensation is not actually necessarily something that's being pinched and jammed. It seems like the pinching sensation from our observations is also something that you can get from just the muscle. So what we're gonna do is actually try to make the muscle work. So I'm gonna take this hand, I'm gonna put it under here, and this hand's just kind of helping me maintain the position. And I'm gonna try to um, actively use my high quads and my hip flexors to pull in towards the chest. So I can use the hand as a resistance point, and this one's just helping me keep position. I'm using my bottom hand as a resistance to this hip flexion, so I can feel my high quads fire, and then I can relax. So I'm just trying to use the high quads here to pull the knee in towards my chest, and I use this hand as, a, as basically sensory feedback, so I can feel myself pull in like that. Afterwards, I can try to pull in a little bit further, and then same thing, fire that quad, ow, 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 it's firing, it's firing, it's firing, and then I relax it, and then see if I can go in further. So now you can actually see, I'm not actually faking this, as I'm doing these contractions, ow, I can pull that knee in closer and closer and closer, and it's not pinching me at all. So I'm gonna fire again, pull in, pull in, pull in, it's hard, it's very difficult to fire muscle in that short a position. Now you can see it's getting really in tight to my chest um, just from doing just a couple rounds of that. So these are some exercises that you can do pretty easily. You hold those contractions for a count of three to five. You can um, do all of them up that way and then all of them down this way. You could alternate, so you might wanna go like up, up, up then relax and then down, 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 and then relax. And then basically just get your body 
moving, right? Get your hip joint moving up, moving down, moving up, moving down, and constantly trying to increase that, that range of motion, increase that hip flexion so that you no longer feel that pinch, okay? So you can try that out, see what it does for you, experiment with it, and just keep trying to get that high quad firing and the glute firing so that those muscles balance, balance each other out as you go deeper and deeper into hip flexion. So I hope that helps you out. Remember to uh, check us out on Facebook. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you'd like access to the full library of exercises that we use here at Upright Health with our clients, be sure to check out the Upright Insider program. And remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't. If you're wondering about sets and repetitions, Usually two to three sets of five to ten of these contractions is going to be fairly safe, pretty doable. But obviously listen to your body, see how it responds, and you should be good to go.